First, we have a summary of the number of individuals in each category of the dependent variable, which here is the number of individuals which prefer each political party. Below this, we have the model fitting information table. This tests whether our model fits significantly better than a model that has no predictors. We can see here that our model does fit significantly better. The pseudo R square table underneath gives R square equivalents for the logistic regression. Generally, all are reported. Next, we have the likelihood ratio tests for each predictor in the model. For each predictor, we have the log likelihood of the model with that predictor removed, and whether this is significantly different to that of the full model. In effect, this can show us how necessary each of the predictors are. Here, we can see that the model fit does not significantly change when income is removed as a predictor. Next, we look at the table of parameter estimates. We want to look at the X, B column for each of the significant predictors. This is what's called the odds ratio, and it represents the change in probability of the reference category of our outcome variable occurring. In this case, the change in the probability of individuals voting for the Labour Party. A value of 1 means no change in probability. A value greater than 1 indicates that individuals are more likely while a value less than one individuals are less likely. We can see that neither age nor income altered an individual's likelihood to vote for the Greens instead of Labour. However, we can see that for each one year increase in age, individuals become 9.4% more likely to vote for the Liberals over the Labour Party. When reporting the results, you would generally report the model fitting information, R-square statistics, and the coefficients and confidence intervals from the variables in the equation table.